Hey guys, Brittany here, and today I kind of want to delve into my bookshelf, um, just let you know what I'm currently reading, what's on my to-read list, and what I'm thinking of what I'm reading right now. Uh, reading, I love reading. I'm such a bookworm, like, you can kind of see some books behind me on my bookshelf. These are not all the books I own, <laughs> but... There are some back there, and I love to read. I love, love, love. I always have, ever since I could. I learned to read at a young age. And, I mean, I'm a, I was an English major in college. I uh, graduated with my English degree. Woo -woo. And so I just, I love reading. So, they're like mowing grass right outside my window. So I really hope that's not bothering you guys and you can still hear me. Um, so I'm going to start with what I'm reading right now. I'm reading A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, I've tried to read Dickens before, and I could never really get into it. It's just something about his style that I, I'm not that into. Um, you know, and it's it's not about the big words, or the old-fashioned words, or any of that. I've read I've read plenty of other things from the time period, but. It's just, I don't know, there's something about him. But a uh, series that I'm really into, um, The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. She always puts book quotes and usually something in her story will run around people reading or something they've read. And A Tale of Two Cities is something that the main characters in that series had read. And they talked about it a lot. So I'm like, wow, I have to read A Tale of Two Cities. I have to get through it, even though it's Dickens, I can do it. So, I bought it, and I'm on page 75 right now. You've got all that left. I mean, it's really, it's okay. It took me, like, it took me, like, two weeks to get through the first 20 pages. No lie. And I'm a really fast reader, so that's just how slow it started for me. And I've been reading for a while, and like I said, I'm only on page 75, and I should be able to knock this book out really quickly, but we just haven't gotten to, um, anything that, you know, just grabs me and holds on and pulls me in tight yet. So, uh, if you've read it, I am right now in the middle of the trial for the traitor. Um, that's, yeah, I'm like really early in it, but so that's where I am so far, and hopefully it'll get better. I'll try to keep you guys updated. Uh, one great thing about posting this video is it's going to kind of force me to actually read it. Because it's set on my shelf for like a while now. Like two weeks without being read at all. So by letting you know, guys know that I'm reading it, hopefully that'll force me to actually finish it. So that I can keep you guys updated and tell you when I finish it and how great it's going to be. Because... I'm sure it's going to be great. I just haven't gotten that far yet. So, that's that. Uh, when I bought that, I also bought Beautiful Disaster by James McGuire. I have not read this series yet, but a friend of mine read it, and he highly recommended it. So, I grabbed that, and I grabbed Paradise Lost by John Milton. I've read parts of this, haven't read the whole thing, but, um, you know, it's great. So, I got that, and I'm going to delve into that eventually. I also bought Jane Eyre the same time I bought those, but I've already read Jane Eyre a couple times. Absolutely love it. Jane Eyre. If you haven't read Jane Eyre, you should read Jane Eyre because it's a great love story and it's a little different. You know, it's not how we think of love stories today. Um, so you should read it. I love it. Anyway, A Tale of Two Cities. Got to read it. I've got to. Make me read it, guys. Comment, like, every day or go to my Instagram and follow me and tell me to read this and be like have you read it yet have you read it yet have you read it yet and just bug me till I finish it because I really need it um yeah I will put my Instagram handle in the description for you guys because hey yeah follow me on Instagram I do stuff there like post book pictures Anyway, um, thanks for hanging out and listening to me rant and hopefully 
not listening to that loud lawnmower outside that's really annoying. Hopefully I don't have to redo this video. Anyway guys, um, like I said, thanks for watching and tune in next time. But until then, be happy and smile, Starshine.